Hello friends, my name is Anatoly, I live in Ukraine, in the city of Odessa. Before the trip to Chernobyl begins, I want to briefly talk about myself and the background of this trip. I immediately apologize for my English. I know that is far from ideal, I just do not have the financial ability to order a professional translation, so I do it myself. I hope you will read this uh, with understanding. I like to explore abandoned objects and uh, travel in a non-standard style. A little over a year ago I started developing my YouTube channel in Russian language. I have a business in Ukraine and YouTube is a hobby. I had plans to translate the videos into English, but the sudden outbreak of war derived uh, me of my business and I decided uh, to devote my free time to translating videos. I made four illegal trips to the Chernobyl zone and in the fall of 2021 I visited Kazakhstan where I rode uh, freight trains and entered the Russian Baikonur Cosmodrome. I plan to gradually translate all these videos and hope for your supper. I learned about the format of illegal trip to the Chernobyl exclusion zone around 2013 and uh, it was uh, at that time that the first full-fledged uh, videos from uh, there began to appear on YouTube. I as a person who is a fan of the computer game Stalker and who has read hundreds of books on this universe. Got fired up with this idea, the idea of an illegal trip to the Forbidden Zone infected me. At that time I managed to find a guide, uh, gather a small group of friends and we even began to prepare, but in the end the trip fell through. Then the revolution began in Ukraine and it was no longer up to it. All these years I dreamed to go into the zone and only in October 2020 I finally managed to find people with whom I could go to my dream. We begin the plot of our trip. We arrived in the city of Bucha near Kyiv. Here we meet other guys from Kyiv, gradually preparing for the trip. Now we will find out from Koop why he will paint the suit. Koop, tell me, what you paint and why? We are painting a heat defender, the best rain suit. Grey is too noticeable, so we will camouflage it. Let's call it that. I bought in the basic version and I am now finalizing it. The guys behind the scenes ask uh, now he will draw and with what colors. The guys behind the scenes joke that he disfigures a suit that is very expensive by local standards. What won't you do to be more inconspicuous? <laughs> Eagle, this is his nickname says that the suit is made a special polyurethane fabric. The zone is guarded, so the guys are trying to make the custom more inconspicuous against the backdrop of the forest. While we are waiting for other participants of the trip from Kyiv, we decided to cook dumplings at the transshipment apartment. The eagle jokes that the hut is really very similar to the stalkers. He recalls that on their first campaign they were sitting in one of the houses in Pripyat and there was the same apartment.
the guys joke that this apartment is so similar to Pripyat, uh, then you can safely tell subscribers that this is our health in Pripyat. Well, we supposedly put the light right in the nuclear power plant. Final dressing before leaving for the Chernobyl zone. When the guys from Kyiv arrived, we got into a minibus and headed to the border of the Chernobyl zone, to the place where the penetration was planned. On the way we drank a little to get in the mood, but a few people got to drunk while we were driving and this will play cruel joke with one of them later. At night the camera is not able to shoot anything, so I will just uh, tell uh, the night part of our route uh, in my own words. We were lucky, uh, there was almost a full moon in the sky, uh, which allowed um, us to go without lights. The task before dawn uh, is to pass to the bridge that um, leads across the river. This is uh, the only place where you can cross it. The alternative was to swim across the river. The bridge is very dangerous place because the police uh, like to make uh, ambushes here. We were lucky and there was no ambush on the bridge. We walked a few more kilometers and made a halt in the woods. At 5 o'clock in the morning and we are discussing whether to go to bed right away or eat first. As a result, we made a sandwich with bacon, drank tea and went to bed. Good morning, my first morning in the zone. This is where we spent our first night. There was no point in shooting at night anyway, nothing would be visible, so retelling night events in the morning. We entered the Chernobyl zone around 20 o'clock at night. Surprisingly, the night crossing went well, we did not meet a single car. During the night we walked about uh, 13 kilometers and it took us 6 hours. According to the plan uh, we had to go more, but, but a long road and a day without sleep made themselves felt. Therefore, we decided to camp in this forest in order to fully rest and gain strength to move on. Today, according to the plan, we have about 20 kilometers. We are moving towards the unfinished 5 power unit, which is located on an artificial island next to the nuclear power plant. At the very beginning of the trip, one of the group suffered an injury. Unfortunately, no one is immune from this. We walked through the forest, he stepped on a wet tree, slipped and sprained his leg. He decided to go further with us, although there were police nearby and immediately went to surrender. As a result, in the morning his leg was so swollen that he could no longer go with us. We have breakfast, drink coffee and move forward. Eagle, how are you? Like at home and bed. The most annoying thing in the morning is to collect all the equipment back. Last night on the way we took water from the river and now we are filtering to make coffee.
breakfast. Bread, lard, onions, yummy. The zone is not only a dangerous place where stalkers go, it is also a reserve where you can see a lot of wild animals and fly agarics. Wow, look how handsome! Eagle, how do you feel on the second day? Mood panic. The backpack was supposed to be lighter, but it became even heavier. We just added a little extra water. We will have the next source of water in two days. So we have to carry a supply for two days. I have six liters of water in my backpack now. Six fucking liters. Well, the road of the second day began. On the one hand, it will be harder to walk on the ground, but on the other hand, the feet will not suffer as when walking on asphalt. Beaver, as the most experienced of us, tell us what to do if you get injured in the zone. If there is connection, the easiest way to call the police. If there is no connection, you need to go to the nearest road and wait for the car. The pass ended and secrets began. For them you can easily catch your feet and fall along with the backpack. Also nettle. Everyone has bare hands and nettles immediately begin to stink open areas of the body. The coop saw a big beautiful butterfly, but it was not possible to capture in the camera. There was a funny dialogue between the guys. Gagarin, this is nickname, asked what we found. The coop replied that they had found a butterfly, to which Gagarin was indignant uh, that there was nothing more for us to do than photograph butterflies. To which Coop replied that he simply did not know how to see the beauty around. To which Gagarin replied that he would rather take picture of beautiful boobs. Tree fell on high voltage line. And buzzing, I don't know if I can't hear it on camera. Eagle says that there is grounding and an arc uh, can occur at any moment, so it's better to bypass. We are joking, uh, this is an anomaly of Electra from the game Stalker, only in the real world. There is a dangerous stretch of road ahead, which we will have to cross. Therefore, first we will make a halt, have a bite to eat and continue on our way. Wow, found right in the zone tomatoes. 
Oh my god, a bush with tomatoes in the middle of barn forest. So how are the tomatoes? The guys joke as they are fools uh, just eating Chernobyl tomatoes. Tomatoes say delicious. Cars had just passed in front of us. We barely had time to hide. We sit and wait until the cars pass, because we have uh, to go in that direction, and as soon as we get out, we will be noticed. We are left with the last push to the abandoned Volkhov anti-aircraft missile unit. We plan to spend the night there. Hopefully we'll make it before dark, so we can take some picture. We approach the place where there was a fang before the fire. There are a lot of logs in the tall grass. You need to be especially careful. The fire got here. The floor are concrete, not the best option for an overnight stay. The beer says. Let's leave our backpack, see the territory and then go to sleep in the barracks. We approach the Cape Onir. The increased radiation is already on the way. The stalkers made their base here. Radiation is growing, it's better not to stay here for a long time. We are discussing that if there is the same radiation in the barracks, then it is impossible to sleep there. The radiation continues to rise, excess of norm already in 40 times.
We approach the barracks where stalkers usually sleep. If there is same radiation, uh, we will have to go to sleep in the forest. Let's go see what's inside. I never understood why paint on the walls. Atmospheric place. Stalker Slayer. Water. Pasta, sugar, rices, other stalkers left it here. Wow, atmospheric place. Guys, give more light. See how well the painting is preserved. In the end, we decided to sleep here. The radiation where was normal and quite warm. The eagle jokes that as soon as he decided to take off his underpants, I immediately turned on the camera. Now we will have dinner and tomorrow, early in the morning, we will advance to the goal. I ask the guys how they feel, considering that we are not hikers, but ordinary guys, such loads are hard for us. At this stage we have practically no calluses, but uh, the feet and uh, back heart. What a pleasure after a whole day of travel. Take off your choice socks and go out in slippers in the porch to smoke. Today was a hard day, but tomorrow the most interesting will begin. They finally get to the place where we went for two days. But at the same time the risk of being caught uh, by the police increase. So tomorrow we need to be as careful as possible. 4 am. We make our way through the forest to the road. We go towards the cooling towers. Walking through the Chernobyl forest at night is a bit scary. Leaving the Volkhov, our task was to reach the bridge leading to the island before dawn. At the same time, the distance to the bridge was not small.
Here, this is artificial island where they plan to build uh, the 5 and 6 power units. Here are the cooling towers and here is a 5 power unit. And very close is the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and the same force power unit. Here is a bridge we crossed before dawn. Hello everyone, we are already on the island, in the forest we waited until the morning comes. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to sleep well on the wall of last night. At 2.30 am we woke up, had breakfast and headed here. It was necessary to enter the island in the dark, because all the station workers get to work along this route. We will leave at night too, we have a whole day to explore this island. Such interesting finds are found in the zone at every step. How many times have I seen cooling towers on video, but life it makes an incredible impression. She is huge. There you can just go into it, there are no doors. There are often tours and police here, so we behave as carefully as possible. In no case should we get caught by the police, because we still have many objects to visit at many days of hiking ahead of us. It's very epic. очень эпично. Это это просто офигенно. Там какая-то 
The coupe noticed some kind of trailer. Usually the guards sit in such. Looks clean. Let's go. Although the trailer really looks like a security. The draft is very strong. Gagarin, how do you like this place? Incredible building. Eagle, how do you like this place? Very cool. It feels like I saw the Heops pyramids. Where is the picture that was painted here? What it is? I have no idea, Beaver says. Beaver, you have been in the zone 11 times and for the first time in this place. How are your impressions? Gorgeous, colossal building. Here is a picture. Next to the big one is still a small unfinished cooling tower. Now let's look at it. This is the same as the previous one, only at the initial stage of uh, construction. Gagarin says, imagine how much money was invested here and it all burned out. Aluminum lies. It is strange that Luther have not taken it out for so many years. Looks like a gladiatorial arena.
do mundo. Daqui a pouco eu vou. At that time I just bought a GoPro and didn't even have the time to figure out uh, how to set a timer for a photo. So I took a screenshot from video. Thanks to everyone who watched to the end. I have already started translating the uh, next series of this uh, campaign. Uh, since I don't have the original uh, materials from uh, the first trip, I have to translate uh, over the top, uh, so um, uh, the quality may not be very good in places. The next hikes I plan to translate when I'm done with this. They shoot with a more professional camera and have better sound quality. Subscribe to the channel because I had a lot of cool adventure and I plan to translate all of them uh, into English. Please write your wishes and criticism in the comments. See you soon!